the countless of times my partners have watched me die. So, air patrol? Told you. It's always an air patrol. It's never not an air patrol. Yo, what's up guys, it's Lucifer back again with another video, and before I get into the video, don't forget to drop a like in the next 5 seconds for good luck, like, come on now, who doesn't want good luck, everybody wants good luck, stop playing, but as you guys can see, we're back on Black Ops Cold War, and in this gameplay, I'm using the AK-47, bro, the AK-47 still be shredding, bro, I still think it's the best AR, and I haven't really used the AK, I really don't use a lot of weapons in general. I usually use the weapons I'm going to record with, and that's it. Other than that, I don't usually use them. But the AK-47 is some fire. It actually it melts long range, has no recoil, and you don't even need a grip on it to have no recoil. It's honestly crazy how good the AK is. But yeah, this is what I'm running on my AK. I'm running the GRU suppressor. I'm running the Liberator. I'm running the 40 speed mag. I'm running the elastic wrap, and I'm running the skeletal stock. This is different from my other class setups. I usually uh, take don't have a handle on. I usually have an underbarrel. But the AK does not need an underbarrel. It has no recoil. Unless you're running uh, the RPK barrel. If you're going to run the Spetsnaz RPK barrel, then you're going to want an underbarrel. But this is what I was running. It has extreme mobility, extreme damage. And it makes it to where you can shred close range and medium range because it has good ADS speed as well. It's honestly just a very good class setup overall. If you guys are going to run 8 attachments... If you're going to run this barrel, the Liberator, then you can honestly run the Spetsnaz Speed Grip. Or you can run uh, the Bruiser Grip. For the body, you can run the Tiger Team Spotlight or a Laser. And for the Optic, you can either run the Mill Stop, the Micro Reflex, or you could even try, uh, you can try the Axle Arms if you want. This is a pretty good sight as well. But honestly, the Iron Sights on the AK are pretty solid, so I don't really run Optics. But if you're going to run 8 attachments and you want to run an optic, those are probably the 3 best, to be honest. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to up on the post notifications so you miss the latest and greatest videos. And I'll see you later, guys. Peace. They just flipped the spawns. Alright. Spawns flip too much in this game mode. I need my field mic, yo. My team getting obliterated, yo. Like, not in score, but I mean like in kills. Like, they're literally just getting folded every time they step out. I'm scared to step back spawn because spawns can flip anytime they want. He just got instantly killed by the carve slash G11 right when he hit the doorway. That's the thing though that's been kind of annoying is everyone's running that weapon and there's no way in hell you're challenging that thing long range. He must have the carve or something because that was kind of too much of a laser. You see what I mean? It's like so hard to push because every weapon that people use are, are all the weapons are extremely good long range so they can cam. And that's how everyone plays. Everyone sits back in this game. He legit stole my scav pack right in front of me. Thank you. I needed some ammo so I'll let you push in. I'm not pushing out till I get my heart, which they're probably going to air patrol anyways. I'm not wasting any more of these grenade launcher rounds until I know I can get a guaranteed kill. These dudes have every angle to their cells, yo. There we go. Bro has head glitch. They just have the better team, bro. Look at them. They flood from all directions and they do it so clever. 
And all my team's doing is just getting folded. Oh my god. Now I definitely can't move. The strafe run never misses and it hits you through buildings. I hate that thing with a passion. I don't understand why they haven't nerfed the thing yet. If you even remotely step outside, you are dead. I can't step outside so this thing is gone. I think one of them's from Spycraft. That dude's just straight up holding trigger, bruh. I can't move. I legit cannot move. <sighs> this kid has been here all game, bro. <laughs> Finally, a game and two hours of searching that's not in session. Like, that's crazy, bro. I honestly thought I wasn't going to be able to record today with constantly joining in-session games. Like, I'm not even capping, bro. It's literally been two hours of me searching for a game. I was honestly about to get off if I didn't find a game that has not started. And now I found a game where my team is creaming the enemies and score. So I'll probably make it, probably make it harder to drop a nuke. But one of them's running uh, the G11. So it's like... I can get lasered from extreme far distant. Like, no cap. Did we just spawn flip? They're angle watching the window. Can't re-challenge him. He's gonna head glitch the hell out of me in that car. I'm not even interested about the score, bro. It's like the team- the enemy team's not even trying to play objective. Like, no cap. This as my team's trying to cream them, but honestly, I can care less about creaming them. I'm trying to just drop a new. Don't tell me another spawn flip, yo. They just spawn flipped again. I told you the spawns be playing, bro. I was about to hop out and rotate. So this is their spawn. Nope, I see you, brother. I wasn't gonna try to pull out a shotgun on you. Try to challenge him with a shotgun from that range would have just gotten me killed. I'm trying to drop a nuke so I could be done with this. Like, it's taken me so long to find a game. It's like, I don't even want to play no more, bro. Like, legit. Two hours. Been looking for a game for two hours. And I'm not even over-exaggerating. Great. They destroyed my field mic. The whole reason I ran over here was to place a field mic. And I was going to run back to yellow. So I can know where they're at on both spawns. Oh, come on, bro. I'm not about to be the one to push them so I can get head glitched in windows and corners. Kind of scared to push a window because if any of them got a sniper, then I'm as dead as hell. Alright. I'm trying to play it safe until I get my uh, grenade launcher. I don't know why I'm shaking so much, yo. This usually never happens. Maybe because I've been searching for a game for two hours and I'm kind of scared to die off the nuke. No, come on, bro. The target assist keeps pulling my grenade launcher behind walls.
No way. <gasps>